Hello and welcome to the advanced search tutorial for the Echo Knowledge Base plugin. We will cover three main topics. First, we will look at the search analytics. Then we will cover the style presets where you can change the whole look with one simple click. And finally, we will go through a step-by-step -step custom search box design tutorial. Let's get started. The backend admin analytics will show you two types of keyword search results. The first is popular searches. These are keywords that have found articles within your knowledge base. The second is no results searches. These are keywords that the user used but found no articles with those keywords. For example, the keyword PDF is our most searched for keyword. This tells us that we need to either update our existing articles or create new ones that have the word PDF in it so that our customers can find information regarding PDF files. Clicking on the gear icon expands the search results to a top 100 results found. This works both for both popular and no results searches. Scrolling down will show you the rest of the remaining of the search results. Statistics show you the total searches and the total no results searches as well. Advanced Search provides you nine presets to start with. Once you've selected it, you can further modify it as you wish. Starting with the classic preset, here we have the basic layout with the title and the input box, very similar to the core free plugin. Moving to minimal, minimal set to show no text and the input box only and the background set to white, that way it's uh, very minimal looking. Large shows additional features, you have the title, you have the description text, you have the input box with a border radius and some more text with links. Uh, everything here you can modify, you can add, change your text, you can add the bold text if you'd like, you can also change the links wherever you choose. This preset adds a text shadow behind the title and the description as well. It adds a small text here, box shadow border as well, and a search icon and a gradient background color as well. Once again, everything here you can modify. The shadow preset adds a shadow background input box. Again, you can modify that how you choose and also adds a different gradient with a background image as well. The bold preset makes the input box very large with a lot of padding. It adds a thicker border and also a box shadow border as well, text shadow as well, and more gradients. This is the natural style showcasing the background image with gradient overlay colors as well. It has a transparent box shadow around the input box, again some text. Natural 2, once again more modifications to the background image with a gradient as well and also it's adding a blur effect to the box shadow around the input box. It is also showcasing more padding between text elements and the border of the input box. This is the formal style. Here we have no description text below the title. We've also added the links here with a divider. You can modify these links to any location on your website. We're starting with the classic preset to start with. We're going to start by changing the background image. Uh, we're going to get one from our media library. We're going to scroll to our advanced settings, scroll down to the background image URL. We're going to center the image from the top and left and right position, the X and Y axis. Here's our image. We're going to start adding text to it. We're going to add a description underneath the title and some text underneath the search input as well.
Next, let's change the text colors. It's pretty hard to see the text with this background image, so we're going to give the text a shadow as well to help it uh, be more visible. From here, we're going to make the text size bigger. And let's take a look at the front end and see where we're at. All right, that's a good start. From here, we'll turn on the gradient background. As you can see, it's taken up the whole background image. So we're gonna give it an opacity to make it more see-through. So here now you can see it really changes the dynamic of the background having the gradient. You have so many options, so many different ways you can play with this uh, styling. From here we're going to add some spacing above and below all the text content to make this box bigger. All right, let's reload the front and see how it looks. Okay, that looks good. Let's start working on the input box. We're going to adjust the border width. We're going to grab the gradient background color to match the overall theme of the colors and add, a, add it to the border. Back to advanced settings. grab this example color this will add the drop shadow the box shadow around the input box we'll add the size of it the spread make it a lot bigger we'll add some blur effect as well Go ahead and save it. Let's load the front end and preview our work. All right, it looks pretty good. We'll do some slight adjustments here. I think it's too wide, so we'll have 40% width, a little bit wider border. We'll add a radius to it as well. Save again and preview the front. We'll now go get a uh, checkered background. This is going to be used for the pattern overlay. Here we add the URL from the media library. We'll center it and leave it at the top location of the container. Here you can see it slightly. It's just a, a slight adjustment. You can adjust the opacity, how much you want to see it. And uh, when we reload, here we go. There it is. You can see. Uh, some of the pattern there. We'll make it a little bit less visible. We'll add a bit, we'll reduce the opacity and see how that looks. Okay, we reloaded. There you go, it's more faded now. Now let's make some more adjustments to the text. We'll make the title bold. We'll reduce the spacing between the title and the description. Back to the input box, we will add a search icon placement to the left as well. There we go. Thank you for watching. Head over to our website at echoknowledgebase.com. There you will find documentation, demos, and information about our add-ons.